The Polycom VVX450. In this video, we will go over the device features and some commonly used functionality to get you up to speed with your new phone. When you first set up your phone, take a few minutes to familiarize yourself with the hardware and button locations. On the left is your handset, and on the right is your display screen and keypad. Next to the keypad, you'll see some additional buttons for quick access to different features of the device such as your navigational arrow keys, headset and speakerphone buttons, and physical mute, transfer, hold, and voicemail buttons. There is also a physical volume control. Using these buttons while the device is idle will adjust the ring volume. Using these buttons while on a call will adjust the volume for the medium you are using, via handset, headset, or speakerphone. The display screen is your main source of information from the device. When the display is idle, you will see the time and date, your line key and soft key options, as well as feature notifications like voicemail and do not disturb. The buttons to the left and right of your screen are your line keys. These keys can be configured to add additional lines to use with your main extension, assign busy lamp field or remote line keys for other extensions, and even allow you to assign log in and log out buttons for hunt groups. The buttons below the screen are your soft keys. These buttons will change depending on the current activity of the phone. When idle, you have direct access to forwarding and do not disturb. To dial an outbound call, enter a phone number from the dial pad and pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start the call on your preferred medium. Call information such as the dialed number and call duration will be visible on the screen and you will have access to additional soft key options while in your conversation. While on a call, you can start a separate call by placing the current caller on hold, dialing the number for your second call, and press the dial soft key. To answer an incoming call, simply pick up the handset, press the headset button, or press the speakerphone button to start the call on your preferred medium. Again, Call information like the caller ID and duration are made available on the screen, as well as additional soft key options for your conversation. To answer a call waiting, simply press the blinking line key. This will automatically place the first caller on hold and answer the new call. You can return to the first caller by pressing the originating line key. While on a call, you can place a caller on hold by pressing the physical hold key or pressing the hold soft key. The caller is immediately placed on hold, showing the word hold on the display screen, as well as the caller ID and call duration. To pick the call back up, press the resume soft key or press the blinking line key. A warm or attended transfer allows you to consult with the party to which you are sending the call to before completing the transfer. At the bottom of the screen, press the transfer soft key. This will place the caller on hold. Dial the number or extension you wish to transfer the call to and wait for the party to answer the call. After your deliberations, you can complete the transfer by pressing the transfer key again or simply hanging up your phone and the call will immediately be connected to your second party. A blind transfer allows you to immediately transfer a call to another number or extension. While on a call, press the transfer soft key to place the caller on hold. Press the blind soft key to change the transfer type. Dial the extension or number you wish to transfer to and press the send button. The call is immediately transferred to the second party. Conference calls allow you to merge two active calls together, granting a three-party call. While on a call, press more to access the second page of soft keys then press the conference soft key. The initial party is placed on hold. Dial the new number or extension and wait for the new party to answer the call. Finally, press the conference button again to merge the two calls. You can use the additional soft key options to manage the conference call. Press the hold soft key to put the conference on hold. Press the split soft key to split the callers from the conference and place both callers on separate holds. 
press the Park Soft key to park the conference on a virtual extension to answer on a different device. Press the Call Flip Soft key to send the call back to your extension and move the conference to another device assigned to you. You can end the conference by pressing the End Call Soft key. If a caller needs to hold for a user that is not currently at their desk or is near a different device, you can easily park the call to allow them to pick it up from any device on the account. Press the More Soft key to access the second page of Soft key options. Press the Soft key labeled Park. The call is dropped from your device while being placed on hold, and an automated voice prompt will inform you of the extension number the caller was parked on. Call parked on extension 980. Now, any user can simply dial the Park extension number to immediately pick up the call on their device. If you need to move a call to a different device, such as Elevate Mobile, you can use the Call Flip feature to send the call back to your extension. Press the More Soft key two times to access the third page of the Soft key options, then press the Call Flip Soft key. The call is placed on hold and then sent back to your extension as a new call, so you can pick it up on any device assigned to your user account. The call history stores records of all calls made and received to this device. You can use the arrow keys to quickly access specific call history lists, such as received, missed, and placed calls, or you can press the home button, navigate to directories, and select recent calls. You can redial any number from the list by using the arrow keys to select the call and pressing the dial soft key. You can also add a history call as a contact. Select the call with the arrow keys, then press the Info Soft key. Press the Save Soft key, then edit the name, phone numbers, and contact information, and then press the Save Soft key to store the information in your phone's directory. To access the directory, press the Home button, navigate to Directories, and select Contact Directory. Any contacts you've added to the device will be listed here, and you can select the contact and press the dial soft key to quickly call out to the party. You can also press the add soft key to create a new contact at any time. To turn on do not disturb and send callers to your follow me forward settings, press the DND soft key on the idle display screen. The DND icon will appear on the screen. Press the button again to turn off do not disturb. You can set call forwarding on your device at any time. Press the Forward Soft key to access the forward settings directly. You have three forwarding options. Always Forward will immediately forward all calls received to this device to the number you entered. No Answer Forward will forward any calls you miss while idle or on a call to the number you entered after your specified ring time. By default, your unanswered calls are forwarded to your voicemail. Busy Forward will forward any calls you reject to the number you entered. By default, rejected calls from your device will automatically forward the caller to your voicemail. When a caller leaves a voicemail, you will see a voicemail icon appear next to your line keys and a small display of how many new voicemail messages are stored. This note will stay visible until you listen to your new voicemail messages. To check your voicemail, press the voicemail button on the device. If you have additional line alias keys assigned, you will see multiple lines in the message center. Select the extension you wish to check messages for. On the next page, you can see how many urgent, new, and old voicemail messages you have stored in the voicemail box. Press the connect soft key to dial out to your voicemail. When prompted, enter your PIN to access the voicemail box where you can listen to your voicemail messages or edit your outgoing greetings from the automated voice menu. Thank you.